you know, it's a great opportunity. Um, we sit here now um, knowing what we know, four years on. If I'd have had the chance to know then what we know now, four years ago, and I've been given the opportunity for a small startup cost and a small buy-in fee, if you like, I'd definitely have taken that. You know, the TFCC group licensee, what we promise is we can get you where we are within four years, within two to three years. That's our, that's our promise. Like many, I got involved with cricket because it was a family um, family trait, if you like, really. Um, ironically, we, we deal a lot with, with Joe Root's dad, Matt Root, and it's very similar um, traits to that of my dad, home family club, um, Barbie Cricket Club, where my roots are. Um, started out there as a six-year-old, I think. I went for my first county trial, I was eight years old, um, for the county in the tens, and then got signed on the academy at 13 and played right through um, made my second 11 debut at 16 which was interesting because you go overnight from playing with 14 15 year olds age group cricket to playing with ex test players like Phil De Freitas, Aftab Habib, uh, Jeremy Snape were three that were in the, the first game that I played in a one day game so that was quite an eye opener um, and then kept chipping away at, at a potential career um, did pretty well, second 11 cricket, but never really cemented a place down in, in, in the first 11. Was in the squad three times, um, unfortunately didn't play, but I did get to play first class cricket at university at Loughborough, which was great. Um, and yeah, the, the university education has allowed me to keep all my options open, actually has probably provided me with a skill set and a, a, a wider perspective of, of the world of sport, and especially sport and business, um, to be able to, to, to work in it now full time. So. That's pretty much my cricket cricket career so far. Right, so we set up TFCC uh, four years ago now. Um, I was working in a school uh, as, as master in charge head of cricket uh, down in the southwest, and yeah, um, I had a real passion for my coaching, um, and that was the route I wanted to go down. Yeah, so we offer a number of services. Um, we've got one-to-one um, -one coaching, which is about individuals working together one-on-one -on -one with a coach. Uh, very much our premium service, I'd say. That's something for your more uh, serious and focused cricketer who wants to push on in a, in a, in a controlled and high higher level of intensity environment. And we also do group sessions whereby groups of, of individuals, maybe three to eight people, we can focus on a particular skill. Specialist sessions, specialist bowling, batting, keeping, uh, fielding, wicket keeping, whatever the individual wants. I guess our biggest market is our club coaching market. So we work very closely with, with clubs. Uh, we found that cricket tends to be 20 years behind football, rugby, where it's accepted that you, every club has a coach. And I guess the driving fact behind TFCC when we started was to fill the void and fill the gap so we we have provided these clubs with the coaches that they've needed and they've wanted um, and yeah the response has been excellent and hopefully I'd like to think that the the repeat custom we get uh, as a result is a reflection of of the efforts and the programs we're delivering um, around the Midlands. Yeah, so the licensing program, uh, we created it uh, for January this year, January 2019, uh, with the idea that um, there's many people and individuals who uh, like the idea of being able to coach for a living full time, obviously very limited amount of jobs within the sector. Therefore, we thought, well, why can't you create your own job and create your own business? So what we aim to do is help and facilitate coaches with the business side of, of running a coaching company. So we're not telling guys how to coach. What we're telling guys is, right, okay, if you follow this model and do X, Y, Z, we will be able to help you on your way and your journey to creating a successful cricket business. Ongoing support ranges from everything that we currently uh, have access to. Uh, so that ranges from getting you started, um, setting up your first four affiliated clubs and schools, uh, attending meetings, providing you with the paperwork, documentation, uh, contracts, uh, e-commerce, online payment systems, uh, equipment audits, uh, set you up with your original uh, logos, design, marketing, advertising, everything you can possibly think of that we've had to learn along the way 
is already there in place. So we give you that, we attribute it to yourself, you coach under your own name, you coach under your own brand that you have us behind you, supporting you along the way, offering advice as you need it. But we, we promote our coaches from, from within, so we have a, we have our own bespoke coaches training program whereby we induct coaches, they have CPD days, um, all our licensee coaches are invited to that free of charge um, and we coach the TFCC way which is simple through hard work, maximum enjoyment um, and in a way that doesn't overcomplicate the game. Another big area that we push with our coaches is we focus on the tactical side of cricket, something that I think is still pretty is it still ignored on many coaching qualifications and programs. Um, hence, why we feel we can fill a void and fill a gap with uh, coaching our coaches to to have the confidence to coach the mental and the tactical side of the game, which is absolutely crucial. We think. Yeah, so the licensing project really, um, it came about through through a lot of people asking a lot of questions, I guess. When I started up the business, I asked, picked the brains of every business person I could do about, about their experience of business in general. And whilst it all wasn't relevant to sport, um, there are some common themes within that. Um, and one of them themes was, you know, how, how do you go about setting up on your own? And... <laughs> There are a lot of there's a lot of material out there about starting up businesses, uh, startup books, uh, introduction to marketing, introduction to advertising, etc. What I've had to do myself is pull all that together from reading materials, from questioning people, from conversations, from experience, and actually apply it to cricket and to sport. And I think that what we've produced a manual of of resources is all of that experience plus more that's available to the TFCC licensee and relevant to cricket, which is important. Yeah, so over the four years we developed a number of associations. Uh, the first one we, we developed was with the, um, the Root Academy. Uh, we've been working with them now for probably about 12 months back and forth. Uh, we've become an official hub of them. Um, there's only eight of us in the UK um, centres around the UK who have got this affiliation and this membership. Uh, it allows us basically access to their app. We can post material on there. Um, we can. Uh, let our players that we work with access it regularly and obviously this is available to all our licensees that work with us as well uh, on the group. Um, we also get access to um, events throughout the year so where there's limited spaces and limited numbers uh, they're quite unique events that we get access to so we can go along to them. We've got a Root Academy tour coming up soon in October where we're taking a, a TFCC um, group limited team out to uh, Desert Springs in Spain uh, and there's a number of other events coming up that look quite exciting so that's one of the uh, affiliations we've got. The other affiliations we have is with Northamptonshire County Cricket Club so we are now officially their preferred coaching supplier uh, within Northamptonshire County. That means that um, any recommendations or um, surplus uh, coaching requirements that they may have, we are able to act on their behalf and, and, and carry out the coaching, which is great for us. And developing stronger links like that for, with first class counties is, is really good as well. Um, the affiliation with Loughborough Lightning is, is women's cricket. They are a franchise um, of, the, of the Kia Super League with the women. and. Through a contact, we got introduced to, to Loughborough Lightning and it works really well because one of our big aims in the last 12 to 18 months has been to engage more female cricketers um, and they, they embrace that idea and we've been working together with schools programmes, with holiday programmes, basically supporting and endorsing each other's work. So that's been really positive as well. Yeah, we'd just like to see the, the same passion that we've delivered um, lo to local cricketers from grassroots upwards and we'd like to see that delivered around the UK and I think that um, following our um, coaching programme, staff coaching programme, club coaching guidelines and packages that we can offer clubs, I think that we can start to really see an improvement at grassroots level of club cricket um, in the delivery of sessions, in the structure of sessions, in the planning of sessions and in the whole club delivery as, as a whole. So that's our ambition and we'd like to see um, as we develop the group and the licensees around the country we can all work together and TFCC group festivals, events and really get the name out there and, and the quality of what we know we can deliver.